Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to start with our first function which is going to be the linear that is torch.nn.linear function. So this is basically used to implement simple neural networks. So let's get started with the documentation. So you, as you can see over here it's torch.nn.linear. So what it does, it basically applies a linear transformation to the incoming data. Now I am going to explain to you this in very very fine detail. Okay, so it, it is going to basically apply a linear transformation. Now a quick review if you do not know and this is completely optional. Okay, um, what is linear transformation? Basically linear transformation can be represented as a matrix. Let's say M cross N and then you have a vector that is N cross 1 and when you multiply this you get a vector in the transformed space. Again this is optional if you don't understand don't worry. Okay, so basically get an another get another vector. Okay, so this is going to be m cross one vector. Now this matrix is basically as I said a transformation. So this neural network, this simple n n dot linear is nothing over here. This simple neural network is nothing but a matrix. Okay, so that's why you say y is equals to this is the output. This is the final vector is equals to x, which is this vector, a into a transpose a transpose is this vector okay so this is a transpose now how does this work so i have to convert this linear i need to convince you that this linear layer is nothing but a matrix okay now this is where everybody needs to understand first neuron over here how many new, uh, neurons uh, so this is the input layer this 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 particular layer is the input layer and this particular layer is the output layer now i want to ask you how many neurons is this particular neuron connected to so this particular neuron is connected to one two and three three layers right so let's draw the matrix so for this okay so for this one is let's say c1 i am representing each neuron with a column so this one is connected with three of them so i'm going to say c1 this one and this one. So C1 has three values. You can see there are three lines, one, two, and three. There are three lines over here, right? So these are the so these are weights. They are going to be some numerical value. So these these are the numerical values. Now let's talk about this neuron. So let's call it C2. How many of them? How many of the neurons in this layer are connected to this? You can see again one, two, and three. So I'm going to write over here. 1, 2 and 3. Again, they are going to be 3 numbers. Same thing for C3, right? Because it is also connected to 3 neurons there. And same thing for C4. Same thing for C4. You can also see over here that is also connected to 3. So I have got a matrix of size 3 cross 4, right? So I have got the this particular matrix, right? Now, what is the vector? Vector is your input, the input that you give. So let's say you are doing uh, iris, if you are familiar with the iris or any, any data set for that, for that matter, these are basically going to be your features. So x1, x2, this one is x3 and this the x3 and this one is x4. So this is basically a vector, vector, right? So you have a vector like this of, uh, this is one cross four. So it's going to be, um, basically it's a one cross four transform. So a vector is going to look not like this, but like this okay so it's going to be x1 x2 x3 3 and x4 so this is your um this is your one cross four this is your vector so this multiplied by this over here a transpose so you can see x is what x is one cross four now you can have many vectors like this okay so i'm just representing here one in the uh, in the application you will see in the code i have here i can show you a little bit so I have the code written over here. So I'm going to go line by line there. So this X is basically one cross four or let's say it N cross four or uh, yeah, doesn't matter. You can also say N cross four, N cross four. So you don't have one data point over here. You have multiple data points and then A transpose. So A is three cross four. So what is A transpose? Four cross, I'm sorry, uh, four, four cross, three right so you have n into four being multiplied by four into three what is the output you're going to get so this one becomes equal and so you are going to have n cross three so i hope you understood that a simple neural network layer a linear layer simple layer is nothing but a matrix now how to have multiple 
neural net uh, multiple layers you basically take this over here and then add some one more layer over here okay or some neurons you can have n number of neurons whatever you want and then all of this will have a connection with all the neurons right so this is basically the idea okay now so this part is understood so y equal to x a transpose now the question is what is p okay so this is bias now what it is used for now this bias is used for basically giving a linear shift to your transformation so what it means is basically over here you will have some bias so uh, you will have b1 over here okay you will have b2 over here you're going to have b3 over here because if you don't have bias you know your ne neural network will not perform that well so you also need the bias so this is y is equals to a x a transpose plus b where b is bias a is the transformation matrix and x is your uh, x is going to be your input vector now let's go to the documentation now this module supports tensor tensor flow these are or on certain r r o c m devices i haven't used all of these so and this is something that you don't really often use and that's why i'm not getting into that if if i use someday or if you request i'll have to go through and then i will be explaining that also to you now what are these in features obviously when you say in features you have to mention the size of you know how many neurons you want here how many neurons so this is your in features okay in features okay now what is out features very simple it is number of neurons in the output so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 so five in features and here you have let's say three out features so five in features and three out features so this matrix is going to be 3 cross 5 okay now why 3 cross 5 why not 5 cross 3 so I don't want to get into too much of specifics but this is how things are done and here every neuron will be connected to all of the other neurons in dropout what we are going to do I'm, I'm just skipping a little bit over here if you want to skip you can basically we are going to remove some of these uh, connections so what is this connection this is this is basically a number okay that number that is represented in the matrix so let's say a weight what we call is a weight okay so this weight let can it can be 0 0.2 it can be 0 0.2 so here we will have 0 0.2 this one will be 0. Point, let's say 0 0.35 so here we are going to have 0 0.35 so so on and so forth you are basically going to have the numbers over here now next question is how are these numbers initialized okay now here it is given so in features is given out features is given bias equal to so bias i have explained what bias is when you say bias equal to false so it will not as it says the layer is not will not learn an additive bias which means here so here as you can see there are no bias but here we had added bias you can see over here b1 b2 so this is this 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 over here this neural network is bias equal to false okay so again when we'll come to batch normalization we will set bias equal to false but for now we will have bias and this one is bias this this particular neural network bias bias is equals to true okay so let's keep this in mind after that let's go over here so in features is basically your number of layers in the input so basically over here five okay um, out features again number of neurons in the output and that will again determine the size of so this is in feature cross out feature oh sorry out features cross in features the shape of the matrix okay my writing is not very good i'm still learning so uh, yeah input now here you see input i have shown here as in this case i had shown as one cross four you can see over here you can see over here one cross four i had said that this can be n cross four now what i'm going to say it can be any dimension it can be m cross n cross x cross y cross four now why four we have to match this with the in features so you know it can be any number of dimensions so i'm just going to the, let's say dimension of input dimension it can be any so i'm just representing it to the dash dash uh, dash and then so on so forth lastly the last dimension has to be last last dimension has to be in features okay i'll show you in the code why this is important and same thing for your out uh, sorry output is also going to be the same thing whatever you write over here so in the same thing for the out features so basically you are going to have this is this is your input so output again will have the same shape 
so this will be there just as it is whatever the dash was there this is going to be just as it is whatever the dash is there whatever the dash is there again same as it is and same thing only the last instead of in feature is going to be out features okay features i hope you understood okay i hope you understood the logic so we will see all of this in code so i hope i was able to you know answer your question what is torch.nn now we'll get into the code but just last thing so i told you these are weights now how these weights are initialized now there are ways of initializing the weight so there is something called as xavier initialization i don't want to go into that today because this is not the purpose of the video xavier initialization basically um, there are other ways as well uh, sometimes you want to do your custom initializations let's say you have a trained uh, uh, what to say your model and you want to custom initialize there are custom initializations as well i don't want to get into that again okay so how does pytorch does uh, you know it, uh, how does pytorch uh do the initialization so for the weights again there as i said for there are weights and biases so for the weights it is uh the learnable weight of the module shape whatever this shape is i sh i told you this is nothing but a uh your matrix the values are initialized you can see over here the values are initialized from this u of whatever this is minus k so this is i think this is a uh, uniform distribution okay uniform distribution if you don't know it is basically a uh, it's a distribution where all the values have equal probability okay so a uniform distribution uh, from minus root over k to root over k so all these values have been separated from here so now what is k k is 1 by in features now why this is done why not you know something like a gaussian distribution why a uniform distribution uh, uh it really doesn't matter you know because uh, what is important to know is that this value has to be very very small that is and it has uh, it should not be zero and it has to be small these are the two things we need to keep in mind same thing for the bias the learn the learnable bias of the module of shape out features out features because bias is you can see over here bias is applied on the you can see bias is applied on the it's never applied on the input layer it's applied on the output layer now you can have more layers than every uh, except the line, except the input layer all of the layers are going to have bias by default until unless you say bias equal to false okay again same initialization uniform uh, distribution from minus uh, root over k to root over k where k is equals to 1 by in features now let's go to code and finally wrap this up so the first line is basically you are importing torch and torch.nn as nn so this is simple import now i told you how to uh, initialize a layer so this is going to be 20 cross 15 okay nn dot linear you can see over here nn dot linear 20 cross 15 which means if you come over here your matrix over here matrix is going to have 20 layers in the input so this is going to be 20 and it's going to have 15 over here right 15 over here all of this will be connected all of this this one is going to be 15 okay so that is what it means so i'm going to initialize that nn dot linear and uh, i have set bias equal to true you can also like you know keep come over here and say bias equal to false but i don't want that i want to keep bias equal to true and now run this so this neural network this simple linear layer will be saved in the variable called layer now I told you that you know this is torch dot random so this is just uh, generating random data okay uh, random dot input right so a random uh, rand underscore input this is basically a variable now what we want is torch dot random now you can see everything is completely you know made up by me you can add over here also you can let's say pick your favorite number let's say four you can add a four over here now this is one two three four five five dimensional right this is a five dimensional vector so all of these dimensions i said does not matter only the last one has to be equal to the in features okay so it is see see over here it is 20 here it is 20 if i put anything over here if i let's say instead of 20 i say uh, 30 it's going to give me an error okay so that's why i have to put 20 so let's uh, go and run this as well so this is going to be our random input now how to get the output you know basically this is a linear transformation that we are doing over here how we are going to do we are going to say layer which is our uh, neural network over here single layer neural network and in that we are going to pass the uh, what to say your uh, uh, data this is your vector this is your uh, matrix the transformation matrix and this is your vector as i said so this is going to be passed and we are going to get a final uh, vector so i am going to hit shift and enter over here 
and then finally you are going to have output dot shape so one thing you will see all these match from 4 then uh, 16 then 130 17 you can see over here 4 16 130 17 only the last one does not match you know see you see 20 over here and you see 15 now what is 15 15 in the out features okay so this is the most important thing so what is out over here out is going to have our so out is basically our output okay so whatever we get over here we call it out okay so that is that now uh, this is not required this is just for me to see uh, it was not required basically whenever you want to you know it, it will be helpful if you whenever you have a variable you want to see what are the let's say functions and parameters that it can uh, give you so basically you can say diff of layer is going to pass is going to show you what all the things that we can do we will be using weight and there's also called bias and on the top we are going to use that as well you can see over here uh, bias so these are the two things the other things as b b float 16 and uh, you know you can convert it to double you, you could is going to put it on the gpu and so uh, all of this comes through experience okay so you don't worry um so now i want to see the weights now this is going to be a humongous you know this one uh, this, this is the output weight is going to be your uh, it's not going to be humongous sorry so weight is just going to be 20 cross 15 you can also see over here okay so layer dot weight okay layer dot weight let's let me let me see what are the weights so these are the weights that were initialized remember we said you know, over here the initialization is from the uni uh, uniform distribution this is the weights now these are just too many 20 cross um, 20 cross 15 not too many you can see this is uh, 20, uh, 20 cross 15 over here i don't know how many are there 5 4 is 20 so these are 20 numbers so these are the um, let me go on the top and show you the first neuron okay so you come over here these are the weights these 20 weights are associated with the your first neuron okay so these are these 20 see so 1 2 3 4 and 5 into 1 2 3 4 so 5 uh, columns and 4 rows 5 4 20 so this is the first neuron first neuron is having uh, this many so basically not this one uh, this one this one sorry sorry this one is having because we use transpose right so this one is going to have 1 2 3 up to 20 so this is for the first neuron uh, sorry first neuron of the output layer this is the second neuron of the output layer so they are going to be um, 15 of them and we can verify that you can write over here is dot shape so how many are there so you're going to have 15 cross 20 um, over here yeah, 15 cross 20 because this is a transpose right remember so this is your a this entire thing is a but it is represented as a transpose okay fine uh what is represented we transpose and save it basically okay so uh, during operations we transpose it that's that's how that's way that's how it is put okay same thing for the bias bias is going to be applied on the output layer i had said earlier so they are 15 over here so they are going to be 15 biases okay what are the values for the biases you can see these are 15 numbers okay so this is how you do your implementation i hope you understood and if you really like it then please like and subscribe